So here we have Paul Glendinning, the director of uh, ICMS, and we have David Abrahams, director of I and I. It's nice to be with you both. Good to be with you. Nice to be here. Uh, Paul, would you like to tell us what this funding increase means for you and ICMS? I think for us, it's completely transformative. We've done. Um, we have a great reputation for our international workshops, short workshops, bringing the international community together in mathematics in the broadest sense, including interdisciplinary mathematics. We've had a great program of research and groups. And this will allow us to enhance those enormously, but also do some really exciting new things. And I think you know, inevitably it's the new that really attracts one's excitement and, and interest. So if I start there, one of the things I think we've all been aware of in the last few months is the amount of time academics are spe having to spend doing new things and doing things online and that has put enormous strain on people particularly people with young families and this is part of a bigger bigger thing in the uk i think where a lot of people in academia get landed with big um, administrative jobs so one of the things i'm really excited about us doing is starting to reach out to those people and giving them new opportunities opportunities to work with colleagues to start new initiatives really aimed at those people who have struggled over the last few um, months and years um, because of other factors. So I think that's one thing, um, and that also builds into equality, diversity and inclusion, which has been a really big focus of the work that we've done over the last few years, and we want to continue that you know, in a really focused and exciting way. The other thing that's also obvious from you know, recent experience is the way that um, online activity has transformed what we do. And I think we're putting in quite a large investment in ensuring that we can run hybrid and online events as well as the standard and really important that, that um, individual face-to-face -face interaction. But I think more broadly and, you know, that plays into equality, diversity and inclusion type issues too about of how people can access the type of things we do. So I think there's that, there's, so there's a people focus that's also going to allow us to go into the early pipeline and really think about how students in taught programs can move into um, PhD programs and how PhD students and early career researchers can move up. So there's a lot of work in that. Um, knowledge exchange has always been a big part of what we do, and we've put about a sizable chunk of money to help people actually take things forward, so actually pay for people's time to do things, because very often one's left with a thing where, you know, there's a lot of goodwill, but not the resource to do things. So working, we're also working nationally with the Newton Institute to um, improve national um, availability of this sort of thing, and we've already done things online in that direction. So I think to sum up, it allows us to do more of what we've been doing, which is fantastic and connects the international community and connects across communities. It allows us to do more knowledge exchange and better and actually move things through. It allows us to invest in people and get the best out of the really fabulous um, research community that we have in the UK. It allows us to invest in the early pipeline to ensure that really, really well-informed choices are made by younger people. Fantastic. Thank you, Paul. And um, David, from the INI point of view, what does this increase in funding mean? Um, well, like Paul says, this is a, a step change in the level of activity that we can carry out. And so I should say at the, 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 the start, um, the INI and ICMS work very closely together and increasingly so, and we think that this um, new money will give us an opportunity to do more in a much more sort of targeted and uh, and uh, meaningful way. So I, I think that this this amount of money almost doubles the level of activity at the Institute. So it's, it's a fantastic opportunity. And the INI runs long-term programs ostensibly across all areas of the mathematical sciences in contrast to uh, ICMS, which runs shorter events. And what this money will enable us to do is to solve some of the problems that we have faced in, in the development of the, 
of the um, Institute over its 27, 28 year existence. Gradually, we've become um, really oversubscribed for talks. There's too many uh, programmes, too many people want to run events. The quality is there. Certainly, we have a wonderful community in the UK. So the first thing it will do is allow us to put a brand new stream of programming on the side of our programme. We typically run two programmes in parallel. Now we're going to run three. And that allows for that third programme to be much more adventurous, risky, you might say, bold, and connect the mathematicians to broader range of communities outside the mathematics community. The other thing that our criticism is that um, Cambridge is tucked away in the southeast of England, so we have to serve our whole UK community. How can we do that better? Well, we can start running programmes remotely outside of Cambridge. So that's our other strand, is to run programmes, an independent sort of strand of uh, workshops and one-off events, and also uh, knowledge exchange activities remotely as well as in-house. Uh, and I believe that that will allow us to connect to large parts of our communities who we've failed, failed to do uh, in the past. It also means that we can uh, work with the, the ICMS in connecting um, all of the KE activity in the UK together. So we have an ambition to create, well, for I and I and ICMS to be the nexus of a connected centres network in KE. So that is a real benefit. Like Paul, we're very, very uh, keen on putting uh, quality, diversity and inclusion at the heart of our programming. So this will enable us to do that through thinking about um, how, um, how we bring participants in, how we approach them, the training of our next generation of, of, of participants. Um, and the other thing I would say is that we're very aware of societal responsibilities. So the mathematics community being much better connected in terms of solving problems uh, on the long term, mathematizing the problems and solving those. So we have ambitions for those in that direction. Fantastic, thank you, David. Um, so- yeah, Can I just break in? I just course. want to say, I mean, ICMS like the INI, I probably should have said it earlier, um, is very keen to diversify geographically. So although we're based in Edinburgh, one of the things that this money allows us to do is to work with people wherever they are and wherever is most convenient for them. And I think that was a very important point that both of us have, have sort of um, changed the way that we're doing things. Yeah, absolutely. And um, anyone that's listening to this will have access to the articles on the ICMS sites and the INI site, which detail uh, the increase in funding and, and what it means in many ways. But can you tell us each individually um, what this means for the audience? What does it mean to anyone in the mathematical sciences? What, what can a researcher take from these announcements? Paul, should we start with you? I think just a huge new opportunity. I think we have to see this in the context of the 300 million um, extra funding for the mathematical sciences over the next five years. So there'll be a huge increase in opportunities to do things. And I think one of the things I suspect they've sort of mentioned this earlier was we have this fantastic cohort of scientists, mathematicians in the UK. And traditionally, we've not been able to fund a lot of things, whether it be EPSRC and UKRI or us as institutes, it's been impossible to fund even you know excellent proposals and what i hope will happen through this is that people will find researchers will find that they can access really exciting opportunities wherever they are in their career and connect i mean i think for me one of the things for icms is connection so it's connecting to um, industry and outside academia, it's connecting interdisciplinarity, it's connecting within mathematics, it's connecting internationally. And all those things are going to be enormously important over the next few years. Um, and I think, I suppose what I hope is that anyone with a bright idea, anyone with a good thought, anyone who has, you know, something that they feel is going to be worthwhile and that they can persuade other people, because there is a quality control aspect, is worthwhile will be able to find ways of doing that and that that really hasn't been the case hitherto. Dave, do you want to? Uh, yes, yeah. so I, I want to echo that really. I think that the flexibility in um, the 
what we can provide the community is one of the key elements to this. I think we've been trying to do that with our limited resources, thinking of ways that we can be more creative. And indeed, you know, on both of both institutes have had their management structures changed to allow that flexibility. So we would we would put that message out. If you have an idea of how you would like to engage, then come and talk to us because we have the expertise for putting people together and we can make the right contacts for you. So if you want to be thinking very ambitiously about programs which go beyond mathematics, we can put the right community together with you. We are excellent in partnerships, but both national and international partnerships. And the plethora of, of, of institutes and bodies out there is bewildering. So we can, again, sort out the relevant bodies, whether it's like the Alan Turing Institute or the Heilbronn in the UK or MSRI in America or some other academies outside mathematics in Europe, we can make those connections and make that work. And I think alongside that are our sense of our responsibilities, as I said before, it's, it's how can we reduce travel for our participants so that how can we still have meaningful engagement for our community internationally, reducing carbon footprints, um, creating global hubs of like-minded mathematicians and thinking of creative ways from the pandemic, we've learned from the pandemic, for um, doing mathematics in a very interesting and a much um, more scaled up way than we have hitherto. Well, thank you very much both. Um, as mentioned, anyone listening to this can, of course, find more information on the ICMS and INI websites. Um, and can I just jump in, Dan? Of course. Um, I think one of the things Dave said there was really important is that we are both really open to ideas. So don't simply work with the exact statements that we make of, of things. If you have a good idea, come and talk to us. Perfect. Thank you both very much for your time. And uh, yes, I hope anyone reading this is enthused and excited as we are.